inviting all business class passengers to now board. Here we are at the Venetian where I am back in a gondola after last year's rather unique gondolier training. You are ready, you're going to take off and you will move forward. Go ahead. Excelente, yes. excelente. Magagosa va, you well, go forward. Rocco, people think I'm a rookie. I've been doing this 12 and a half years. Yes. Yeah. Slow <laughs> learner. We're beginning our gondola ride. Most of the tours take about 12, 13 minutes. Now in real Venice, there's 77 canals. Here at the Venetian, there's two. The gondoliers will often sing while you make your way through the tour. That is beautiful. Do you know any Guns N' Roses? Nope, sorry. In St. Mark's Square, looking at the clock tower, Doc Brown may be making a cameo at any point. Here we are down with the people as there is something called Streetmosphere, where every day there's singers, dancers, jesters. St. Mark's Square built and developed in the ninth century. I imagine at that point, less people tweeting, Facebooking, and forwarding emails. Standing on the Rialto Bridge at the Venetian, the only place foot traffic could get across the Grand Canal until 1854. And the Campanelli Tower, 315 feet tall, only eight feet shorter than the original. The Doge, the leader of the Italian city-state, and this is where the palace where they resided and worked here in St. Mark's Square. In the colonnade with the columns 25 feet high, Botticino marble, the ceiling frescoes painted by a number of different Italian artists. You look too long, you'll feel exactly how you will tonight, just after midnight after the third glass of champagne. That's it from the Venetian in our New Year's Eve special around the world on the Las Vegas Strip. I'm gonna go get a cannoli and a cappuccino.